that was the meteorite that fell near Chelyabinsk in Russia last week. It may have been the largest hit the earth in over 100 years, but not that much of it has been found. Well, Gautam Nike is here to tell us why. 500 kilotons of energy, that's 30 times you know, the equivalent of uh, the atomic bomb in Hiroshima. And yet all we can find are little 7 millimeter pieces, Gautam? This was a pretty large meteor. Uh, it was about 10,000 tons in weight and about 55 feet in diameter. The last one that was roughly this size landed over a century ago in 1908 in Siberia. But the reason they've only found small bits is because a great deal of this meteor burned up as it came down through the atmosphere. The rest of it appears to have, a big chunk of it appears to have fallen into an iced over lake uh, in Russia. And so far divers haven't found any large pieces, although uh, some searchers have discovered about 50 or so fragments. And the reason they were able to find these fragments is because they're brown and black from the charring and the burning as the meteor fell through the atmosphere. And uh, these pieces stand out against the white snow. I mean, I was just going to say, I mean, okay, 50 fragments were apparently found, but I mean, the Earth, I should imagine, around most places like that would be brown and black as well. So how would they have shown up? So it was just lucky it had been the snow. Absolutely. It was winter time. It snowed over. So OK, so they haven't found much yet. There is a chance that perhaps slightly bigger chunks might be eventually found in the lake, if nothing else. What can the meteorites tell us? Well, one of the things is that uh, a meteor for a few days or even a few weeks uh, contains isotopes that stay on for that period of time. And by studying these isotopes before they fade, uh, scientists can get a better fix on just how large this space rock was while it was in, in space before it entered the Earth's atmosphere. Oh, OK, because obviously it's just a little chunk of something that was a lot bigger uh, circling. Right outside the Earth's uh, yes. gravity pull. And That's then right. once it got into the gravity pull, it obviously starts burning away. But tell us more about this actual um, meteorite. Apparently, it, was just, it wasn't a special one. It was just an ordinary one. Is that? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, uh, scientists uh, have various descriptive terms for them. And they call this kind of meteorite an ordinary chondrite. However, it is interesting. Uh, this uh, piece of rock originated at the very beginnings of the solar system 4.5 billion years ago, most likely. And so it was formed in the early sun when it was swathed around with, you know, disk of gas and dust. And this rock was somehow formed at the time. It probably got trapped in an asteroid belt, which exists between Jupiter and Mars and orbited for centuries and centuries, millions of years. And at some point, uh, its orbit got perturbed. It got very knocked off that orbit and headed out into space and eventually traveled towards Earth, got pulled in by Earth's gravity, and ended up in Russia. And yeah, there it was in a lake there, Tell Gautam, thank you very much. Pleasure.